Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an isolated or private network within a KVM environment as far as your virtualization environment for your lab. Um, I want to say it's if I feel like it's been forever since I've published a video and it seems like it has. Um, I know I did one prior to, to MangoCon uh, last week and it's just it's been crazy busy the last couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm glad to be able to, to get back to making some video for you folks. So getting right to it, I am on my Fedora system here, and I have Virtual Machine Manager running, and it is connected to my KVM hypervisor. And in uh, another video, I will go through the steps of being able to connect to KVM hypervisor and such. But this one I've wanted to do kind of because it, it gives uh, another environment to do something that I've, I've, I've often done in Hyper-V. So uh, we'll trip around Virtual Machine Manager. If I were to go to File and, not File, but Edit and Connection Details, this is where you can see your virtual networks. This is similar to your um, your virtual switches in Hyper-V. And as you can see, there is a default switch here, just like you have in Hyper-V. This particular one um, acts as a DHCP server, and the forwarding that's set to it is NAT, which what's going to happen is traffic on this will be forwarded to the physical NIC that's on the machine to be able to get to the outside world here. And what we're going to be doing is creating an isolated network. So to do this, we're going to click the plus sign. I'm going to name the network. We'll call it Foo Network. And I'm actually not going to enable IPv4 network address space definition. I'm, I simply just want to have basically a switch that is going to allow whatever is connected to it to, to uh, talk to one another. But if you wanted to, you can specify a network name. Um, you can specify DHCP on that if you want. But for this example, we're not going to do any of that. Going forward, we're not going to enable IPv6 with this. And the key here is we want an isolated virtual network. We don't want any kind of forwarding to physical network. We just want it to be an isolated network. And just like in the Hyper-V video, the idea here is you have a use case where maybe you're, um, you're testing configuring your own DHCP server and you don't want that DHCP server to somehow be connected to your production network or your home production network and cause problems. You want something that is just completely isolated. This is how you would do that. So I'm going to click finish. That's going to create a new bridge device, and here we go. So let us go to our VMs here. So my test 01, we're going to view virtual machine details. And within the virtual machine details, we're going to look at NIC, and we're going to change the network source from default NAT to our new isolated network called Foo Network. We'll apply that. Actually, I'm going to keep this window open because we'll need it in just a moment. I'm going to go to test 02. We do the same thing, virtual machine details. Let me minimize this here. Or not minimize, but make it not be the entire screen. If you don't see any details, probably it's because console is selected for view. So under view, we're going to go to details. And we're going to go to its NIC. Unchanged items. No, I do not want to. I'm not sure what I had changed before. So, under Nick, we're going to change this to Foo Network. We'll click Apply. And now we'll go back to view in the console, and we're going to start this VM. I'm just running uh, CentOS on these. View in console. We'll start number one as well. All right, let's go to number one just a moment. It should be up. Let me go ahead and log in. And 
if I were to type IP address show, we see we have Ethernet 0 as one of our NICs and it has no IP information. Again, because the um, virtual network that we created, we did not include any DHCP options and such with it. So I'm going to use the text-based network manager to configure an IP address for it. So NMTUI. We're going to edit the connection, Ethernet 0. We're going to change its IPv4 configuration to manual. Click show. We're going to add an address. Now for this, I'm going to add 192.168.1.50. set this as a gateway. There's a method for the madness here. Need to add the subnet mask. Use the system CTL restart network. And now we see our IP address is configured 192.168.1.50. The couple of steps that I did there, uh, it's been a while since I've used the NMTUI, so I wasn't 100% sure if that change went into effect. So once I got out of it, I um, did the IP adder show again, or SH, and saw there was no change. And so use system CTL to restart the network service and once the network service restarted then it picked up the change in IP address. So let's go over to host number two and we see there's no IP address on this which again makes sense because we're connected to our our isolated foo network. So let's go into NMTUI we're going to edit the connection. I'm going to go down to IPv4, change that to manual. Addresses, we're going to do 192.168.1.51 slash 24 for the subnet mask. I'm going to set a gateway. Okay, back, okay, we need to clear to get rid of the blue there. We're going to go ahead and restart the network service. And there we see 51. So, Right now, these two VMs should be able to communicate to each other. Of course, should is the, the, the famous phrase for IT, right? So let's see if this works. We're going to ping 192.168.1.50, and we get a response. And then likewise, if I were to come over to test 01 and ping 192.168.1.51, we also get a response. Now this has no connection to the outside world. So let's say I wanted to try to ping Google's DNS server, ping 8.8.8.8. .8. That's going to fail. Because we don't have any type of connection to a physical NIC. We don't have NAT configured at all with this. On another note, notice I put the gateway as 192.168.1.1. That's the gateway for my, um, my home network, which the uh, actual KVM host is uh, connected to that network and if I were to try to ping the gateway it's unreachable because 
even though I'm using the same address space, which I would not recommend that 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 that, that you do in your environment. I did this just as a uh, proof of concept that this is truly an isolated network that can't touch um, anything else. Um, even though I'm sharing address space, I'm not able to to talk to that um, to that gateway simply because this is a completely isolated network despite sharing the same address space. And also it was proof positive. If I were to try to ping the address of the actual KVM host, which I know is .128, that's also going to fail again because this is a, a completely isolated network. So as you can see, just like in Hyper-V Manager, it's really not that difficult to simply go into your connection details and walk through the wizard to create an, an isolated network. On Hyper-V Manager, uh, I believe these are going to be called private switches, and just know that isolated network within uh, Virtual Machine Manager for KVM is the same as the, the private switch for your for Hyper-V. So I hope you, you found this useful. If you did, make sure you click like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so when I produce more content, you, you will be notified of, of of when it comes out. And also, now that life's kind of slowed down a little bit since I'm back from MangoCon, I'll, I'll be producing more content in the future. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you the next time.